Hey, 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 what's going on, Robert? Um, I'm going to try and do this short video, man. And I think what your problem is, you're trying to use channel 21 and 22. Uh, with the rack, if you've got it set on default, these channels just simply don't exist. Okay? So, uh, you haven't mentioned using anything like an F16 or an M32. So, I'm just going to go with what you've got up here listed in your last post. And uh, let's jump down into the X32 edit, and uh, I'll show you how you may. It may, may work, it may not. But at least you can give it a try. All right? Give me a second. Okay, man. So, here we are in the X32 edit. Let me get back over here to the mixer. And uh, you can see on channel 15, I put keys left. On 16, I put keys right. Just right mouse click and go and name it. Pick a color. And then I came down to the auxiliaries, and uh, this is how they would normally set. And I did the same thing here. Aux 1 is keys left. Aux 2 is keys right. You name them the same way. Right mouse click, name them, pick a color. Okay? So when you do this, when you set it up like this, you want to bring these faders up to zero. Okay, let's just go ahead and start there. And then we're going to come back up now, and we're going to, we're going to look at these aux channels. So uh, here, the channel, uh, as you can see, it is clicked to go to the main stereo out. You say you can hear that. Now, bus 11 and 12, these are your recording buses. Okay? As you can see now, I've got this set right here. It's going to come in. This channel's coming in there. And as you can see, the keys right's coming in to uh, 11 and 12 as well. This is the recorder that goes to the front, the uh, USB port. So you know if it's picking it up here, more than likely it's going to pick it up on the X-Live card. It'll pick it up in the doll. You can record to your front port, your X-Live card, and into uh, your doll, something like Reaper, if you have it set up properly. You can record all three as a, uh, at the same time. Okay? So now let's go to Configure. So as you can see, this used to say AUX1, and I think you know how to do this. Uh, that's what it used to say. So I'm going to keep these within the parameters of the X32, and we're just going to say 15, okay? And then uh, the gate, of course, you don't have Dynamics EQ. The sends. Now, as you can see right here, I've got these sends pushed up here, bus 11 and bus 12. This is what goes to the recorder, okay? As you can see, I've got those set to a negative 10, all right? Now, both of these are going to be set the same. I don't have them linked. But uh, as you can see, the main coming here now. If, uh, if I come back over and I adjust these faders. Let me see. Let me get back where I was before. Uh, the sins. Config. Man, I'm sitting here confusing myself. I apologize. Uh, that's not what I want. I want the left-right channel. And somewhere over here, I was messing with this. And, uh, maybe it's back over here. There it is. As you can see, as I'm moving this up, you can see how it's putting that left and right into that left and right channel. Okay? So, uh, if you don't have these set up, this is what that would look like. And you're not going to get any signal. Going into, uh, give me a second, uh, into the sends, into your recording here, okay? So these have got to go up this way. And you can try this without switching uh, these out uh, going to, uh, let me get back here where I am. Uh, as you can see, it's going into 15, and then here it's going into 16. I know this sounds a little confusing, like I said. I can talk long enough, brother. I can absolutely confuse myself so bad. I'll leave out of here with less knowledge than I walked in. <laughs> All right? It's just that it's simple. All right? So let's go back over to our uh, auxiliaries. Uh, this is where I wanted to be. Now, I can link these, man. If, if, if you're going to do this with the stereos, you can link this. Okay? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm on the wrong thing. So I'm going to say okay because I'm on the FX over here. This is where I want to be. And, and again, man, I apologize, okay? So we're going to link these uh, uh, left and, and right, okay? Auxiliary 1 and 2. Now they're linked. So now it doesn't matter which one I pull. Everything I do up here, it's going to do it automatically. Uh, the sends, as you can see uh, here, 
uh, the left's going in that channel. If I click here, you're going to see the turn here. The, it, now it's going into the right channel. So that's what we want. And it's still going out the left and right mains. Okay. Now, if we come over to routing, there's absolutely nothing you should have to do over here. Okay. Because the channel 17 through 24, it's not on your rack. It, it just doesn't have it. Uh, the firmware is I'm, I'm almost positive the same uh, for the X32 rack as it is for the X32 uh, uh, desk or full console. Okay. So give that a try. Make sure that you, you, you bring these faders up. Okay. Adjust it over here to blend in with the rest of the uh, instrument, with the rest of the group, and then see if that works for you. All right. Let me know. Talk to you later, man. Bye. Sickle.